Good morning. As we near the end of the school year, it is important to stay focused on our responsibilities. This school year, we have worked hard drawing many different virtues, like charity, friendship, respect, and forgiveness, just to name a few. For, our, for the month, virtue of the month of May is responsibility. Responsibility means being reliable in our duties and accountable for actions. Taking responsibility for our work and actions makes us dependable, someone others can count on. We have all made mistakes, but the virtue of responsibility causes us to acknowledge our feelings so we can move forward. Responsibility looks like keeping your room clean, feeding your pets, taking out the garbage, bringing your folder to school each day, taking your homework home. Following instructions from your parents and teachers. St. Paul says to us in the letter to the Colossians, Whatever your task, work heartily as serving the Lord, not men. Knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You are serving the Lord Christ. We care about taking responsibilities for our duties and actions because God has entrusted us with much. We have been given the gift to learn and grow at St. Francis, and it is our responsibility to use our God-given talents to do our best in school. We would like to say a prayer of thanks for our parents who have made the choice to send us to a Catholic school where we learn and grow in our faith as a school community. Loving Father, thank you for our wonderful parents and the love and support they have given us throughout our lives. Thank you, Lord, that you placed us in families with parents that know and trust you and for the example that they have been throughout our lives. Thank you, Father, for the joy of family life and for the joy of being a part of this loving school community. We are grateful that we are all one in Christ and part of the heavenly kingdom throughout all eternity. Amen. Let us now offer our prayers and petitions to the Lord. We pray for our church, especially those all who minister to the sick and suffering. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for all the families and communities wounded by division. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray that our school community may continue to grow in faith, hope, and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We would like to close our prayer by saying the memorari for all those who are in roles of great responsibility in our homes, school, parish, country, and the world. Remember, O oh most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly to thee, O Virgin, O Virgins, my Mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me.